So I'm Tina Felfelli. I'm a resident physician and part of the clinician scientist training program here at the Donald K. Johnson Eye Institute. One of the earliest memories of me growing up in Iran was really spending time with my grandparents. And my parents, especially my grandpa, was a huge part of me, taking me to my practices, always being my biggest fan and really cheering me on. So when I was 11 years old, uh, my family moved to Canada. I didn't speak the language. I had to learn about this new culture and everything was really new to me. Even finding new friends, going to a new school, finding a new swimming team to practice with, a new dance team to practice with. And that was a major change. When I started high school, I sort of became interested in sciences. I did an undergrad in Bachelor of Science at Western University in Physiology and Psychology. I started volunteering at a nursing home. I worked with an elderly population. And that was for the first time that I started thinking about healthcare. So I entered medical school. Throughout medical school, I got exposed to research. And so that was another field that I realized I also really enjoyed. It wasn't really about doing one or the other for me. It was about how am I going to combine these two worlds together? What I love about what I do every day, I feel like I'm putting my skills and putting my energy and my curiosity and my dedication to medicine and to good use each and every day. And that truly makes me happy. And I can't imagine doing anything else. I'm also a mom and that's an important part of my life. Actually, some of my major accomplishments and number of publications that I published was during my pregnancy. And it always reminds me that we don't have to choose one thing over the other. You need to have the right support system. You need to have the right mentors. You need to have the right attitude and uh, the passion and the dedication. I just want to tell anybody who's watching this right now that you shouldn't set limits on yourself. That if you have the passion, you have the dedication, and you have a genuine interest, uh, there's no limits to what you can do. So my grandfather, you know, he would always encourage me to pursue my passion, to never set limits for myself, to always dream big. And he always believed in me. He always pushed me to do better. He always supported me. And I think if he saw what I was doing today, he would be very proud. And it makes me proud of myself that I found that something good that I was meant to do.